Hello guys, my name is Bonnie and Clyde and this is the second video for the English Joomla tutorial. Today I will show you how to install a really great template on your new Joomla site. The front end from your site looks something like this, very naked, not really nice and today we will change this. Don't get shocked because I show you now and great template but the site is the first site is in is in german written to download this template scroll down to this section to the download section and choose the allrounder minus 3 version 1.1 zip file download this to your computer i have already downloaded it before and after that you can open with the demo button the demo page here it is and here you can see nearly everything is in the English language that is not just really just only a demo page it's also a help page if you like to change something on the template you find here the information how to build a drop down menu or a main menu you get the information always in the English language and this template is really great. I show you why. I show you the module map from this. And there are, I think, more than 70 module positions on this template. You can create a really great homepage with this template. Also, you get here a, also you get here a top panel, a drop down, and a side panel here. So, but now we have to install it. For this we have to go to the extensions and the extension manager and here upload package file, upload and install Joomla extensions. We search for a package file go to the desktop and here is the Joomla template. I choose this and say open and click the upload and install button and after that the template is already installed but at the moment we can see I refresh the front page we can see the new template because we have to change the template to default at the moment for the front end we, we use the protostar template from Joomla and now we have to uh, set the all around the three template to default for this we click on this star and that's it now if we refresh the front end we should see the new template maybe this looks not really very nice but i will show you first of all i show you how to enable this eye with this eye you can uh, see the whole module positions on your site we go to system to global configuration then we choose template and here you see preview mode positions enabled disabled at the moment it is disabled i click to enabled and say save and close and now you see a blue eye and if you click on the blue eye you get your site if you look here bonnie and clyde 201.bplace.net is my site with my module positions and the name from the module position. This module position is before head number six, and I show you here. It's not readable, but it's no problem. We say just copy and fill it in and paste it this is the module position 7 where the left menu at the moment is shown so I close this also the demo page from this template the links to this template I post below the video in the video description and now we look what we can do with this all around the template we open it then we get here the details from this template the welcome message and here it starts the global template layout 
We can choose if our template should be dynamic or fixed. And if fixed, we can choose a fixed uh, wide. At the moment it is 950. If I change it to fixed and say save and refresh my front page, you see it gets smaller. So I set it to dynamic. Then we can choose the wide from the columns on the left and right side. What is a column? This menu here is in a column. The template goes from here to here and 20% from the wide from the whole template we use for the left column. You can see here left column wide 20%. Also there for the right column and here you can also change the percent. Would you like to show the header or show the subfoot? I will show you what happened if we say no. Save this again and refresh my front page. The head is gone, the header is gone and the subfoot, that is a, a very small line here, is also gone. I will change this back to yes, have to save it and refresh the front page. And here you see the small line here with the all around the Then you can change the font. I think here I have nothing to explain. That is also interesting, the logo configuration. At the moment we will see one logo, the all around the three Joomla template logo. Here you can choose if you like to show the image logo, yes, at the moment. Here you can choose which uh, picture you like to use. Then you can also insert a media logo. I will show you. It's not really nice if you enable all the logos, but uh, just I like to show you. Here, this is the media logo. Then you can enable a text logo. Also, you can choose the color from the text logo. Say so now yellow. And you can enable also a slogan. And so I say save and refresh again the front page. You see the text logo in the yellow color or my slogan below the head. So I disable now this real logo, say save. And the next step are the template colors. And here you will see what you can all, it's really, it's really great what you can all change here. You can configure your color settings and before you start to configure it, uh, to configure this, you have to enable your own template colors. Press it here to yes, and now you can change the background and say blue background. We save it, and now we refresh the front page. We will see the blue background. If anything went wrong in the colors, there is no problem. You can just delete the color code and say save and refresh your front page. You get the standard color back. It's really great. That is really amazing. Then you can also change the colors from the drop down menu. The same like before. You can, you can uh, uh, choose your drop down menu style. Just uh, test it. Use your own drop down menu colors, yes or no, and then you can choose your colors. And uh, advanced template options, you find also some nice things. The ribbons on or off, I will show you to off and save. And you see here now something like the ears from the template here and here. It looks a little bit like a 3D effect. And if I now refresh, you will see this is gone and the template style is very straight. So ribbons on. And here you can show the copyright text, yes and no. And if you like to show the copyright text, you can change it here. Show the date, yes or no. If you look here, Friday, 
17 January 2014. Uh, the compression, I don't prefer this compression, it's uh, at the moment it is in the beta phase, so I don't use these options, maybe later in the next versions of this template you can use it. And here you can uh, insert your custom CSS code, and if you like to use your custom CSS code, yes or no, and here you enter the code. So that's it from the template and how to configure the template with the colors, logos, fonts and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions ask in the comments below the video and I will answer you soon as possible. I hope we see you again soon and I wish you a great day. Bye!